these days, auto manufacturers are competing more and more to make their vehicles more autonomous. That means cars that can park themselves, cars that can drive on the freeway themselves with active lane keep assist. The problem is, most of these are just gimmicks used for advertising. If the wind is blowing three degrees to the left or there's snow on the ground, the systems simply don't work. So today is about testing whether the Mercedes S-Class can actually park itself. At speeds up to 25 miles per hour, the car is constantly scanning parking spots to see if they are large enough for the S-Class to fit. So judging by my eyes, this one to the right of me definitely is big enough. Uh, let's let this car pass, but let's let it decide that. So pulling up next to the car in front should give me an arrow gives me an arrow down here letting me know that it can in fact park in that spot put it in reverse start park assist reversing now obviously you want to check all around you just to make sure because I don't know you know whose fault is it if the car crashes right now I'd like to think it's Mercedes fault but it's probably mine so I've got some snow near the curb. I'm going to give it a little more gas. It's probably confused with what to do. Um, all right, put it in drive. Forward. Okay. Park a switch switched off. Well, I'm in the spot. It's snowing. There's snow all along the curb area there. This is a pretty difficult parking job, and I'm impressed that Mercedes uh, Park Assist system was able to do it. There was a little bit of a learning curve. It took me about, I'll be honest, 10 tries before I could actually get it correct. Uh, and I was almost about to make a video about how it doesn't work, but once you get the hang of it, it works pretty reliably, actually. The biggest thing is positioning the car before you activate Park Assist. So you gotta go far enough up uh, a little bit past the car in front of the spot actually, which is a little bit farther forward than you would do normally uh, parallel parking yourself. Then you flip it in reverse, activate Park Assist, and you're good to go. Hope you found this video informative. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video. Oh.